Corruption fighters have set their sights on a new southeast target. In a triple C grilling, one local mayor has been accused of hiding the fact he was receiving developer donations behind a tricky banking system. He's the mayor who loves to talk up his booming region, and developers wanted Alan Sutherland to remain in charge of the Morden Regional Council, so they donated towards his re-election. But read his declaration where the mayor is supposed to list all his donors and you won't see a single one. Today, the Crime and Corruption Commission probe revealed why. Do you think the mayor's done anything wrong? I don't. $118,000 was funnelled into Alan Sutherland's election fund via the Morton Futures Fund, a trust account managed by accountant Kirby Leake. Leake told the inquiry donors were instructed to send the money to the trust account, sometimes by the mayor himself. Said some people actually came into my office and dropped off cheques to support Alan Sutherland's. A look at the Morton Future Fund's donors reveals they collected $137,000 directly from developers to put toward the campaign. I don't think I've done anything wrong. I declared everything I knew about it. A bit sneaky, though. He didn't have to put it on his own form. That's something for the court to decide. Two other fund managers told the Commission they were left in the dark about how the bank account was managed. Surely, Doctor, you didn't just sign something that was thrust in front of you. I did. Ebony, will Alan Sutherland be fronting the inquiry himself? Yes, Melissa, he will appear tomorrow. And I spoke with him a short time ago. He said he is relishing the opportunity. He wants to give some feedback, but he said he also wants to bring about some change. And he went so far as to say that the system is broken. So, Melissa, I think tomorrow could get pretty explosive. Indeed it could. Ebony, thank you.